Uh, brother enigma has called a lot of people and you know what i'm saying their names are on public and uh, pastor mandy zuma here said to me hey this is not according to the way of god we are dealing with a uh, satan you know but if you as a uh, ubongani you are sick you have a leprosy yes the reason why you have a leprosy it is because god is punishing you because you sinned against god abantu bakholelwa uNkulunkulu not uNkulunkulu we Bible but uNkulunkulu abamfoma bona from their own imaginations we were never we were not commissioned to go and expose abantu i Bible into li shock phela ukuthini ukuthi exposane imisebenzi yobumnyama don't you think ukuthi there's a high chance ukuthi umini dlamini eh uzoba nalento ukuthi uma ngokuthi ujesu unje angimfuni lo jesu lo who is not mindful of my dignity why ngxeki ngayanga ke yena in person like the prophets in the bible what kind of a god is not mindful of his dignity abantu regardless to kuti ba prominent or not god is not in defense or in defense of brother enigma uh -huh. i will say uh, it's difficult to reach out to Oh, is my hash. Abantu they don't understand the deception. Lenge lose lazy. As a lashwa no satane. As now you read, for example, what Paul says in First Timothy chapter four, verse one. Metu Pauli umoyo shongo kaki luten zogun zogtin. Abaning baklu bo kolun benaga imfundiso. As to be saws a matimon neza umoy. So suggesting what? So in other words, what the Bible is saying that there are teachings. Ama demonazos introduce with Christianity. So now, how will we distinguish whether these teachings are from uh, God or from Satan? See, that is why when you read the Bible, Ama demon will use a band within Christianity to perform miracles so that they can deceive a band within Christianity. A band manje, they are in a position where Ama demon have managed uguti abasuse from where they can get if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed one of the guys that troubled me the most is the man i am sitting with today when he heard brother enigma he commented even uh, uh look even in his videos he does have comments well Allow me today not to refer to him as pastor because, you know, it's difficult to remember the, the calling. I always talk to him, I always refer to him as brother Mandy. You know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. But just know that this is pastor Mandy Zuma. So Amen. for the benefit of this conversation, I'll just refer to him as brother Mandy because, I mean, I grew up with him. He became a pastor in front of me. Now I forgot that he's a pastor. But... To be specific, today, um, you know, he reached out to me and said, you know what, I want to respond to some of the things that Prada Nipma is saying, specifically about exposing celebrities. So, my responsibility today is very simple. It's not to stand in front of you. It's just to allow him to speak. Hmm. But I want us to highlight something where he was speaking about uh, how this thing that Enigma is doing it can hinder the celebrities from adhering to the calling, right? Can you just highlight what you said? Maybe you want to greet first and highlight what you said. And then I'll allow you to explain after that. All right, all right.
No, thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, what we are looking at um, is to compare the character of God from the Bible. Bring this mic a little bit closer to your mouth, yeah? Yes, thank you. Yes. And how God deals with such situations. For example, in the Bible, we have prominent people like David, and Elijah in the Bible. So those people who were sent to some certain individuals, like in the case of David, there was a prophet who went to reprove and rebuke the king, David. You know, So when he was sent to David, Nathan, uh, he didn't uh, declare publicly, David, uh, and to kill also Uriah at the same time, you know. So instead of doing that, he went straight to the man and spoke to the man to show that God is mindful of our dignity, regardless of uh, whether we are prominent or we are famous or whether we are just common people in the society. Very interesting. Uh, that is exactly what you said, but you mentioned a lot of people. Yes. Uh, you made an example about a lot of people in the Bible, and you say, look at this person. Mm -hmm. There was, uh, this person sinned, and his sin was known publicly, right? And look at how God dealt with him. Look at this person. His sin was known publicly, but when God deals with the person, he does not take a, a public platform to expose a private sin. Mm -hmm. Or even if sometimes that sin is known, but it doesn't go, it doesn't use a public platform, but God will you find a way of talking to you so that you, he doesn't, your heart doesn't become hmm. uh, hardened yes. so much so that you will now feel that there's no need for you to comply with the demand or the request from God. Now, I'm going to allow you uh, this basically to those who are at home. Mm -hmm. It comes after Brother Enigma has called a lot of people and you know what I'm saying, their names are on public. And uh, Pastor Mandy Zuma here said to me, hey, this is not according to the way of God. I know a lot of you guys have said a lot on my comment on my comments. I do. I read your comments. I'm about to like them, but I read your comments, and some of you guys have said that uh, the, for my previous guest that uh, the local, he doesn't understand the story of of Abraham and Lazarus, uh, the one who was sleeping in the chest of somebody. I remember. I look, don't worry. We'll talk about that. I will bring him back, and some people also who are on Enigma side. They, they want to come, I will open that. My responsibility, I'm on the journey to find the truth. So, Brother Ignima doesn't want to debate, so he said, he considered it a debate, so I said, it's fine. But because there are people who want to come on his behalf, people who support his, look, his theology, you are welcome, you are more than welcome. For now, I have Pastor Mandy Zuma. So, you want to start from the beginning. Yes. However yes. way you want to take it. But I'm, I hope you'll provide scriptural reference. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Um, I, I think the first thing that we, we need to fix, uh, I, I was reading your, like, uh, the comment section. Yes. I noticed that uh, most people who are commenting, Yes. Uh, when someone is bringing evidence from the Bible, they will say that those individuals, they don't have the Holy Spirit. So they separated the Bible that was inspired by the Holy Spirit from the Holy Spirit, you know. So this is something that is very dangerous because what we are dealing with here, um, we are dealing with uh, Satan, you know, uh, who deceived angels in the presence of God. That's the man we are dealing with here, you know. So uh, if a believer, and then, but he, that very same person, it doesn't make sense because it for example, um, Tata U John chapter uh, 17, you know, verse 17, lie Bible uh, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. And uh, one of the work of the Holy Spirit is to lead us into all truth. So, our was claim that we have the Holy Spirit. And that Holy Spirit is not leading you into studying the Bible, which is the truth, you know. And uh, beside that, how do we test the spirits? You know, because the Bible tells us to test the spirits. And there's a reason why we are told to test the spirits. So let me just um, give you 
as maybe, something. Maybe, maybe, maybe for this one, ne? Yes. Uh, because you also owes us a, a, a look, a, an episode about about uh, yes. uh, the look. What is it called? It's called cult. Mm -hmm. So I think what you are now getting into it mm -hmm. fits nicely when yes. we talk about cults. Yes. So I will I will ask you to pack this one. Okay. And then for now, let's deal with us. What we are saying, please. Mm -hmm. Remember that when right. we talk about cults. Okay, okay. All right, so, so, so now just to give um, some few scriptural reference, you know, on the matter. Um, you have, for example, Romans chapter 3, verses 4. Uh, there is something that people don't understand, especially believers. But in this battle between Christ and Satan, uh, God is being put on trial, you know. I Meaning God is being questioned. The way Paul puts it in that verse, he says uh, that thou shalt be justified when you will be judged. You know, referring to who? He's referring to God, not to us human beings. So the concept that is giving of God being put on trial, uh, it makes sense, especially when you are looking at the world. People, they have questions against God. You know, so who is being put on trial here? It is God. And if God is put on trial, that means his character is what is at stake, you know. So now, when you read the Bible, you will notice in the book of John chapter 1, when Jesus came into this world, uh, when you read verse 14, you will, you, we are told that we saw the glory of God. And when you study the Bible, the glory is in connection with the character of God. So in other words, when Christ came, he came to us to reveal who is the Father, you know. So in other words, if you are a believer, for you to understand God, you need to study the life of Jesus. Then you will understand how God deals with people, with human beings here on earth. And on the case of Jesus Christ, when he came, there were other wrong conceptions about who God is. For example, you had the Pharisees who believed that, not even the Pharisees, but it seems like everyone, it was just a common belief. But if you, as Ubongane, uh, you are sick, you have a leprosy. Yes. The reason why you have a leprosy, it is because God is punishing you because you sinned against God. Oh, wait. That's why in the, in the New Testament, there mm. are people, there's a, I don't know how many people were sick, who were sick, but you will remember the disciple. You, please remind me of the scripture, the, the chapter and the verse, if possible. The book, the chapter and the verse. Mm. But I remember Jesus healing somebody and the disciple asked the question, who sinned? So mm. now what you are saying, mm. you are basically saying, as per their culture, if I am sick, mm -hmm. it means that either my parents Yes. Or me, mm -hmm. I have sinned, hence the consequences. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So that was the popular belief. Besides that, if you are poor, uh, you were also classified as one of the sinners, you know. So there were two groups during the time when Christ came, you know. They were, there was a group that considered themselves as righteous. Kune group, Etitina, uh, we are just poor. And they believed the they are poor because they have sinned against God. So oh, now oh. imagine when Jesus came, you know. Oh, okay, wait. I want to pause you a bit. I will allow you to, con to continue. Yes. But what I want to find out here is, what are we trying to establish by going through this history? I want to, I want to affirm somebody who is listening to this video before they click out of the video. Yes. What are we trying to affirm? So this is what we are trying to establish. We are trying to uh, compare in the la umzalwane aveze ngayo izinto publicly with the character of God. So what we are trying to establish here is the fact that what Satan is attacking is the very same character of God. So he will try by all means to misrepresent the character of God so that in our minds, sees of an image that is not biblical. You oh see. wait, when you say umzalwane, Yes. You are, by the way, he is referring to brother Enigma. So in other words, he's saying how Enigma went about mm -hmm. to expose these people. He is going to prove that it is in violation of the character of God. It is a misrepresentation 
of the character of God. Yes. Even if those people, if I hear you, even if those people ha might have sinned against God, mm -hmm. but how you go about it, you might be doing something wrong. Is that what you are saying? Exactly. The approach is very important when you are dealing with sinners uh, here on earth, you know. Hence, I said uh, when we were beginning our conversation that God is mindful of our dignity as individuals, you know. So if we present the God who doesn't care about his dignity, then who will want to follow him? No. God who delights in exposing you publicly mm. before the universe. Interesting. So it's fine. So I think you guys, uh, you, you, you hear him. He's here to answer that as aspect on how we need to be cautious and how we need to walk circumspectly mm -hmm. when, we de when dealing with sinners. How we cannot go into a public platform and just expose people. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe it could be justified if you have been trying to reach out to those people. I don't know. But in this case, we don't know whether Brother Enigma privately reached out to those people and say, I have a revelation against you. God has shown me that you are doing one, two, and three, and four. Yes. Since you are doing one, two, and three, and four, God has told me that you need to repent. We, we don't have evidence of him doing that or trying to reach out to this celebrity pri pri privately. That's what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. So he has taken a public platform to go about his effort to get people repenting. Now, I posed you where you were talking about Jesus being yes. on earth, yes. trying to show us the character of God. Mm -hmm. And now I hope you understand where we're going with this whole. So s continue from there. Yes, so... You know, what, what Satan did uh, at that time was to give Abandu his tombe skankulunkulu engasisona, you know. So when the son came, he came to reveal the father. And he came, he touched the lepers to show that God is not delightful when people are sick of leprosy or any disease. You know, he raised the, the dead and it was during his time but we started to see Abandu be possessed left and right by demons, you know. So to show good him, uh, his character was very contrary to uh, the popular belief at that time, you know. So now, uh, coming back to our time, it is still the duty, the work of Satan, to make sure good he, Abandu be called not unkulunkulu we paypal, but unkulunkulu abam former born from their own imaginations, you know. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, sir. You're saying right now mm -hmm. the enemy is at work. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. He is trying by all means mm. to give us a perverse idea of who God is. Exactly. Exactly. So if then the enemy is misrepresenting the image of God, uh -huh. who is he most likely to use in order to be effective in misrepresenting the image of God? It's very simple. Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 and 5. Jesus says, Satan in the last days, I'm just paraphrasing the verse, uh, their false Christ will come. And those false Christ, you can't expect them to come from other religions than Christianity. So within the movement of Christianity, we need to expect that the band who will claim to be Jesus Christ. And those people are not ju just going to arise, but they will perform miracles according to Jesus. And then we have false prophets who will also perform miracles. But now, who just has some details? Uh, what gives us more details about it, the miracles they will be performing is what John says in um, Revelation chapter 16 verse 14. Demon, benza is so according to John, in the last days, demons will be performing miracles. You know, I'm not talking about fake miracles. Demons will be performing miracles. And the purpose of that, when you read the book of Revelation, is to gather the world. Now you just say the book of Revelation. Book of and Revelation. here, remember in this channel, we are we are on our journey to look, it's called what fact finding. Yes. You know. So since we are on fact finding mission, yes. you must refer us to a specific book, chapter, verse, and yes. say, go and check this book, mm -hmm. 
this chapter, this verse, yes. this is what it says. Exactly, exactly. So, so, so that's what we have, you know. And it's not only that, but read about the two beasts of Revelation chapter 13, those two powers. Uh, the second beast, the Bible says in verse 11, start from verse 11. Uh, it says that second beast, it will perform miracles. And uh, those miracles, the purpose of those miracles is to con convince the world uh, to form the image of the beast. You know, and uh, this beast who's behind them, the power behind this beast, it is, it is Satan himself. You know, so we can't rely on what on miracles as God's people, number one. Number two, we can't rely on revelations, you know, that are given. Uh, as if those revelations, or the Zambules Negezwayo, are above the word of God. And that's how people are putting it now. Guti Isambulo is sort of like above God's weight, you know. Wait, are you saying a revelation? Cannot be above yes. the word of God. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, when I'm talking about revelation, I'm not talking about the book. I'm just talking about Abandu is in Dabaz Mugela, Baz Born. When know. you are saying, this is an example, I'm sleeping at a home. Mm -hmm. I have what I call it a vision. Yes. Where I am being instructed by God. Yes. As to what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. And you are saying, if that vision is from God, yes, it cannot mm -hmm. be above the Bible itself. It must be tested with the Bible. And the reason why we need to test it, it is because we can't trust anything because the man we are dealing with here, he is so deceptive. He can even deceive people who are worshipping him. I'm talking about devil worshippers. When they come with the testimony, there are things that they will mention that are so against God's character and his weight to show that even though Satan released these people to go, but he, he is still holding them because there are deceptions that they are uttering from their mouth, you know. You know, when you say that, uh, you are saying something because I'll, I'll be honest and I'll be straightforward. Yes. I remember when uh, there was a lady called uh, Nongo Liso, ex devil worshiper. Yes. I remember how much I believed on that lady. And I remember somebody saying to me, You must be careful. Now you believe this lady more than the Bible and the Word of God. Exactly. Uh, uh, look, more than the Word of God and God Himself. Yes. Now you, you want to tell us about the lady. At first, I was offended. Mm hmm. But as I'm close by, I realized that I got a very, I was, this lady, to me, she was yes. above the word of God. Yes. Uh, in fact, I would have spent money going to, uh, going to see her mm -hmm. so I can ask what to do and what not to do. Yes. Whereas yes. the Bible is just next to me. So what you are saying, I've been there where mm -hmm. I believe this lady more than the word of God itself. Yeah, that's what is happening. It is, it is very painful uh, when you see that because... Uh, we have, there was a time in Christianity, when you study our history, uh, there was a time when the Bible was not allowed to be a zandli in Zabantaba common. Uh, it was, the Bible was only on the hands of Abafundisi, the priest and all those things, you know. But uh, when, when, when God brought the Bible to us, Satan tried by all means, would he still also the Bible, while sin alone manji. We have the Bible. We are not reading the Bible because uh, we are being taught what you, what you need is the Holy Spirit. But that very same Holy Spirit cannot lead you anywhere except the Bible. So, Oh, wait. Wait. Yes. What? Because I've heard this and some people have said this. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. People have, because I've read in comments, people are saying, in other words, you no, 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 no. You are up to something. People that were saying mm -hmm. what is important uh -huh. is the revelation. Yes. But you are saying something, you are saying when it's actually mm -hmm. contrary to that. Yes, let me let me give an example. Please. You know, uh, of other things like revelations that people will give, you know, that are contrary to, to God's word. Uh, someone will come and say, uh, God showed me uh, your, your, your late father, you know. Your late father was burning in hell. He's telling you that. And now what will happen to your mind as the son? 
So God is so cruel. Ngendlela yokuthi uNkulunkulu is torturing ubabu wami ngangi mtandi mtlabini. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. So, so, so that's one of the doctrines that, by the way, reveal uNkulunkulu njengo mundo nonya and the okruel uguti njenga manje as we are speaking. God is burning people in hell, you know. And uh, historically, singa nje pipeline, Historically, that doctrine, if you read history, the, the disciples, the apostolic church, and after the apostolic church, uh, the, 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 the church that came after, Bebeng has called as long as into this, you know. So that doctrine, it was introduced by the Jews who borrowed it from the Greeks, you know. So they borrowed the doctrine from the Greeks and they ran with it. And then when the Catholics now, uh, the Roman Empire was transformed into the church. Uh, when it was transformed into a church, church, it became a Roman Catholic church. When it became Roman Catholic church, they borrowed that doctrine from who? From the Jews. And they used that doctrine a lot to scare people into repentance. Ah, you said something very interesting. Yes. To scare. Well, I'm highlighting the word, scare people into repentance. Exactly. I heard Brother Enigma at some point he said that God has sent them because mm -hmm. it doesn't it, you can tell that he's not alone. Yes. He keep referring to us, us. We was, we are sent by God. Mm -hmm. He said one of the, the one of the video he said mm -hmm. their mission is to scare people. Mm -hmm. And now I'm hearing you mentioning the word scare, and I'm like, hey, that's where I've heard it somewhere. You know. So I'm like, hey, what are you saying, Manje? Are you saying that he, God does not work with this thing of scaring other people, right? Uh, is that what you are look? What you are refuting? Romans chapter two verse four. Paul says, "Do you not know that the goodness of God leads you into repentance?" Uh, so what lead people into repentance uh, is when they've met, have experienced the goodness of God. You know. Uh, and number two, you can't repent, you know, like repent on your own. Repentance is a gift from God. So, 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 so that is why God has a method of reaching out to sinners that will uh, sort of like break their hearts when they've seen that I've broken God's heart, you know. And then they will come into repentance. And that repentance, the Bible calls it true sorrow for sin. So the person will be sorrowful for what he did to God. And when they are repenting, they will not repent and go now into public platforms and you see them burning things in public platforms to show that I have repented. Why are you showing the world? This is between you and God. You get what I'm saying? So it is the goodness of God that is revealed at the cross of Calvary that can lead a sinner into repentance. Wait, you know, so, okay, I want to explore this thing. Yes. You are saying... If I'm hearing you very well. Yes. There's no one who's currently pending in hell. I want to yes, start no. there. You are saying mm -hmm. no one is, as of now, mm. even, Hitler. even Hitler. Okay, let's say he didn't repent. Yes. Even before his last breath. Mm -hmm. We're just going to assume that. Mm. Because I'm saying this, guys, on a specific here. I have learned that a person can live an evil li life, right? The lifestyle is so contrary to the will to the will and the ways of God. Yes. But last minute before they die and they repent, just like the thief on the cross, mm. that guy repented while he was five minutes before death. He repented then and there. Yes. And Jesus says, you will make it to heaven. So hence I'm using the word very carefully to say a person will look, Hitler might not repent even to the last breath, to the, to, to, even to the point of his last breath. Mm. Let's assume that he did not repent. Mm. So that it is given, if he did not repent, it is given that he's going to hell. Mm. You are saying Hitler, mm -hmm. who died uh, probably a century ago, yes. he is not burning in hell. Mm -hmm. What are you saying to me? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, 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 what kind of a God uh, so, uh, uh, what kind of a God are we presenting before the world? Like, take someone who's not a believer 
And then you come to them, you tell them, Guti, Unkulunkul is burning people in hell. Uh, what view or picture or image of God abazubana in Kundunyab, you know? So, so Leonto Leo, iti Unkulunkul abambulayo, eh, bambulunkulunkulu, not the God of love and justice, you know, but ibavulunkulunkulu, bambulunkulunkulu, onoonya, and the God who delights in doing what? In torturing people. That's what is being presented to us. Something that is not biblical. Take, for example, a story. The highlight and just the rule. Yeah, but a story of Lazarus and the rich man. Uh, if you study that uh, story, that illustration, it was an illustration, by the way. I don't know wait, why people. Wait, read it. before you go there. The so it was doctrine. not. It, so, because to me, when you say it was an illustration, yes. Uh, according to the language of the Bible, mm -hmm. to me, I'm gonna be saying, I'm gonna assume that you are saying it was a parable, so and no. the parable cannot be then taken literal. It, it look according to what I'm here, what, what I know from the Bible, mm -hmm. it meant to teach you something about oh, look the about the will of God concerning people. Is yeah. that what we are saying, Guti? It was not. A, a literal thing. It was probably a parable. Probably, I'm not sure. You'll mm -hmm. confirm that. It was, was it a parable? That is why you need the Holy Spirit for you to understand spiritual things. Um, when you read, the, the, like uh, the context is very important. The issue there, Christ was talking, uh, discussing with the, 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 the Pharisees who were asking themselves questions. Why is he receiving sinners? Why is he eating with sinners? And then Christ gave that illustration. So basically, the illustration was an answer to what they were questioning, you know, about Jesus sitting and eating with sinners. So the conclusion of the whole matter is that the parable, is, the illustration itself has nothing to do with what happens when someone dies. You know, it has nothing to do with the heaven or hell because we have never heard Jesus Christ talking about uh, people going to heaven or going to hell immediately after they die, you know, after that parable. So you can't make that the point of doctrine. In Revelation, the souls under the altar, still you can't make that the point of doctrine, you know, because uh, everything is figurative. The horses there that are being presented in Revelation, they are figurative. And now you come to the soul, you, soul, this, you say these souls are literal. These are literal people who are away in heaven. It doesn't make sense. Everything must be figurative there. Okay, let's move to the next part. Yes. You mentioned about people uh, burning in like, clothes. One will say, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, there was this woman who is an ex-wife ex of Somizi who de publicly declared that she's now a Sangoma. Mm -hmm. When she was living, mm -hmm. she also said, I will publicly declare mm -hmm. that I'm living this thing. Right. Yes. So she publicly banned her clothing and everything and say uh -uh, goodbye as of today no more call me isangom uh, what are you saying to that person mm -hmm. uh versus me who's probably not even known i'm, I'm making an example i'm not known and then but i come to on social media and i'm banning my things as well are you saying that there will be there should be a distinct there should be and uh, look martin i can uh, are you saying we should accept this one the former generation actor uh-huh because she de publicly declared everything, mm. but me, who is not even a, I'm not even a public speaker, by the way. Yes. There's not. Even, are you saying that? Oh, you have your own explanation. Take me through. But I'm giving right. you this so that you can respond to this yes. example that I gave you because it happened like literally. It happened that she declared publicly that she's becoming a sangoma, and she declared publicly she banned clothes publicly. But I've also seen people that I don't even know. I've seen them changing, and I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't even know that there was a person like this. No, there, there are people who will do that because uh, they are trying to communicate to others who are doing the very same work that God can take you out of this. You okay. Know, there are people who are doing that. And then there are people who will go to social media because they want to be seen, you know, by people. Basically, these are entertainers. You know, um, someone will say, I have repented of this. Uh, because brother Enigma said one, two, three, four, five. You know? Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about people like that. On this case, the person uh, became a Sangoma, and then after she became a Sangoma, she left uh, Ugubai Sangoma, and then 
she became a what a born again Christian, I believe so. Yes, yes, yes. She became a born again Christian. Yes. And then she declared in publicly that you know what, uh, these things they are useless. They are not working. Yes. So that person was passing the message to everyone who's a sangoma indirect that what you are doing is not working. You oh. need to be delivered from God. You know, I think that's what the person was doing. But you'll find others, you know. Um, Wait, before you move in. Yes. You are saying to with her. Yes. It is accepted because of also the position she holds in society. Mm -hmm. that she's influential. Yes. So when she does things, people are te will tend to follow. Yes. Even when she repents. Yes. She needs to announce it so that people can follow. Yes. Okay, continue. Yes, so so you have others, for example, who will be making jokes like out of this. They are doing it just to make jokes, you know, out of it. That I have repented. Th that kind of repentance um, is not really true. You compare the two cases. The other one is not saying I have repented. You know, it's just showing that I'm living here. Then the other one is saying, no, I have repented of this. I'm burning these things. Is it a true repentance? The true sorrow for sin? where the heart is broken, or is it the repentance? Uh, the Bible calls it the repentance that needs to be repented of. In other words, you repent so that you can repent again later. You know, that's, that is the kind of repentance that most people are experiencing. You know. But, 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 but um, having said that, let me go back to the issue uh, of exposing people. I mentioned David, right? I also, I didn't mention others, but you have, take the, the case of Elijah, for example, and Ahab. Um, Elijah was sent, El Ahab was wicked, and I believe the man was more wicked than Esma Hashul, for example, because uh, uh, the name of Esma Hashul came also. Uh, Elijah was sent to go to the king, uh, to tell the king what will happen because of his sin, you know, with Jezebel and all those things. The man went straight to the palace. I don't know how he entered within the gate, but he went straight to the palace. In other words, if God is sending you to talk about somebody, he himself will open doors for you to reach to that person. You know? So he went straight there, and he spoke to Ahab, and he told Ahab everything. You know, uh, And uh, when God is doing that, it is because God is mindful of his dignity. Why? Because God himself is also mindful of what? Of the salvation of this man. So what God wants, he wants the dignity to be preserved. So that when God is communicating to the individual, position where the person can reflect. And after reflecting, the person can come to him. You know, so that's what God wants. So now, uh, if you go to public platforms, take the, for example, the case of Judas and Christ himself. Christ knew what Judas was going to do, but he, he didn't expose Judas to the disciples. Judas was never exposed. Even during the Lord's Supper, you see the way Christ did it. He didn't mention his name. I'm talking about the King of Kings now. Jesus Christ himself, the one we are worshipping. He didn't mention the name of Judas, but he, he spoke indirect, you know, and the disciples couldn't get it. They couldn't understand which you know, Judas, you know. But Christ, his word were clear, no, But they couldn't get it. And the Christ in you would develop, they will not get it. You know, so even there, you can see that God was still mindful of his dignity. Judas, he really wanted Judas to do what to repent. You know, um, that's why Christ now spoke clear so that Judas will see what he, he knows what, what I'm about to do. But instead of doing that to Judas, immediately he went to the priest and the Pharisees. You know, uh, to sell who to sell his Lord, which is Christ. So we have those people in the Bible, who are very prominent, you know, except to Judas. Judas, yeah, Judas was a prominent man, but with society during their time, the disciples were not prominent. But in the Old Testament, you have prominent people, 
you know. And as Kuluma Ngabantu Laba, who were close to God, like David, for example, Ahab knew about God. He was born uh, in Israel. The men knew about God. But still, Unkulunkulu, Arazanga Vane Ati, Ngobu Ahab Wenza Lok, Age Ntatu Elijah, Ayo Kuluma, the congregation in Israel. Even when Elijah was on the Mount Carmel with the prophets of Baal, he didn't mention Ahab, his name, when he was dealing with the prophets of Baal. But who made Israel uh, to sin against God and to worship Labon Kulunkulab? It was Ahab and his wife. Ibona Bavumela, Yongel, and Tugutinjan, Yenseg, or Israel. But still, Kulunkulu preserved its dignity. Ka Ahab. Yo. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening here. What I'm hearing is, mm -hmm. no matter how sinful an individual can be or might be, yes. I have no, that's according to what I'm hearing from you, I have no biblical right, mm -hmm. no theological right yes. to expose their sins. In public. Oh, damn! Mm -hmm. Oh, now I see what you are saying. Mm. When... You are taking me back to Matthew 18. Yes. You are saying, if I see, if I sin against him, uh -huh. he has no right to go and tell the congregation, oh, I want to go to yes. Uh -huh. yes. He must. Ah, now exactly. I see. That's, now I see. That's now why I see. we need the Bible. So you are simply saying, the method that Brother Enigma is following mm -hmm. is not based on Matthew 18. And thus, what I'm hearing, mm. thus it might lead to people, uh, this thing might harden people's heart. Mm -hmm. And what I'm hearing is that it might sell a wrong, it, it, he's selling a wrong image of God. Yes. He's selling a God that is, uh, like, that is looking at people, torturing people, a God that doesn't preserve people's dignity. That's yes. what you came to teach me today. Yeah. And the people at home, obviously. Now I see, I see. But you were very cunning in that. You were very clever in that you did not go straight to Matthew 18. You yes. went somewhere. Yes. I only get it now that, oh, this guy is talking about Matthew 18. That, no, no, mm -hmm. no, no, no. How we deal with one another. It cannot be outside of me, the principle of Matthew 18. Even if this person is, is an ungodly person. Yes. The manner in which we attend to this person, it must be in Matthew 18. Ah, I see it, I see it. I see you. We are, we are commissioned to go and preach the gospel <clears throat> into the world. And that's what Christ said, you know, to us. We were given that, that go and preach the gospel. But whenever we are not commissioned to go and expose a band, if Bible in the Lishok Pela, Ugtini, Uguti, Exposani, Imsebenzi, Bumyam. So Imsebenzi, Bumyam, is exposed by not a I'll mention the Bible that we are not exposed to but we expose him seven years. So now, uh, let me just give you an example. Imagine this, for example. Uh, women is a man. We have work saying, more work saying, we are all over social media. Uh, more to a lela, but I'm going to have to tell a message. Wait, wait. I myself. I took that clip ga 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 ga, ga, ga inikpa, yes. and then I I, I tagged Umini Zamini. Yes. So when I'm just saying, I'm just showing you that don't even imagine it. Uh -huh. I did it. I tagged Umini Zamini with the clip ga inikpa and said, "Zinga we namtange be zinga so means namtange is limago." Yes. Continue. <laughs> so now, imagine you wake up and when you wake up, uh, you find uti nangu muntu kuluma ngawila uti lomundo watching iswa when. Yeah, bo, uh, un -naked. Un -naked. Yes. And then you came in front of him and it was sort of like you are seducing him because the language, the many, the, the, the servant, uh, uh, I will not say the servant, but the servant used. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the language he used, you know, it suggests uh, the person who was in front of him was sort of like seducing him. Yeah, bo, him. Yeah. Or he came in a very seductive manner. Yeah, but she came in a very seductive manner, the person. So now, Uvexen Uzwa Lok, Uchua Kok. And Lento Le, Yaziwa, Abantu Bonke, South Africa, Uguti Tue Wena Kok. Don't you think Uguti, 
there's a high chance ukuthi umini lamini eh, uzoba nalento ukuthi uma ukuthi ujesu unje angemfuni lo jesu lo who's not mindful of my dignity why ngeke ngayanga kuyena in person like the prophets in the bible and talk to him uh, let me just make another another case case kaba um we have work saying you are told to take two on ngwaba yezona the whole south africa knows ukuthi wena nengwaba yezona you know what kind of a god is not mindful of his dignity abantu regardless to ukuthi ba prominent or not god is not the respect of persons so unkulunkula ngeke ukuthi athi ngoba wena u prominent so endlela ngizodila ngayo nawe ngeke ifane nomuntu common yabo so now the whole country knows ukuthi okay baba esimaka shule it seems like we so nokudlula so ucaba ngamedlulu ukuthi abantu bambuya kanjani you know so um expose ku public platform and then mom exposure you are expecting ukuthi the message oyithumela ke yona ukuthi aka repent uzo accept are you not putting the person in directly you are putting the person in a position where they can resist even that repentance ya bona obatshela ukuthi abayamukela and then message was justified no it's because it is because unkulunkulu yabathanda what kind of love doesn't respect its dignity omuntu If I was a female I would talk about boundaries. You know how women will talk about boundaries. Yes. And all that. So if I was a female I'd be like God does not respect my boundaries. You yes. know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But one will also ask and say uh, what in what we are saying. Mm-hmm. One will say because what I'm hearing from you. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, uh, what I'm hearing is that you are saying uh uh-uh, we can't use this exposing people's name on public platform. Yes. But I, maybe in defense or in defense of brother Enigma uh-huh. I would say uh, it's difficult to reach out to Isma uh, Hashul. Uh, If I were to say to him I'm coming with a message from God he wouldn't even he will tell his security team not to even open for me. Minit mm-hmm. Lamin is a celebrity probably live somewhere in an estate I can't get hold of her. So means I can't get off get hold of him. Um, Jacob Zuma and I was also mentioned by the way I can't get off Jacob Zuma yes. so maybe the alternative was that I have this platform so let me call out their names on the public platform so that I can get their attention and thus the message will reach to him in defense of brother Enigma all right uh, okay l- l- let us say what you game uh, brother Enigma being a kindled we are talking about God here Uh, we are not talking about a small boy we are talking about god yeah and uma sikhuluma ngonkulunkulu sikhuluma ngomuntu who is very powerful yes eh unkulunkulu is capable of opening doors for you to reach out to that individual because it is him who is mindful of their dignity you get what i'm saying mm. so on the case of umzalwane eh uh, even if if been a message for labantu lab and uh, he saw these people these individuals and i was told to kuthi kumele ba repent labantu lab bengumele umzalwane azame by all means to say let me reach out to them and then uma seba tshelile message like um prophet u nathan umsebenzi wakho kuhamba buye le muva ashiye i message with the person and god So now it is between the person and who and God. But now it is between us the community of South Africa <laughs> those individuals and then God and the servant who was sent. You see that's what is happening currently. So I am saying with him this is not like the God of the Bible. The only person who delights in that is only one in the bible <laughs> come on brother only one person but you you understand yes yes yeah. i understand wait a minute <laughs> oh, ah yeah, yeah, yeah you know you said something very interesting that wait you are saying yes in all of this approach mm-hmm. god is not involved in such an approach yes because He's too powerful that if he wants you to get to Ramaphosa despite his security he will okay. make a means for you to get to Ramaphosa Definitely. despite his security yeah because he wants you to talk to Ramaphosa mm. 
So you're saying it is not God who is not like him. delight in yes. exposing people. He's not a God of the Bible who delight in that. Proverbs Please confirm that. Okay. Continue, Pro continue. Proverbs continue. chapter 25 verse 2. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2. Iti kuludu mola makos uembula imfishlagalo. Kepa kuludu mola kankulunkulu to conceal the matter or to cover the matter. Other versions, they say cover the matter. But izulu version, iti uksibegela indab. You know, so it is the glory of God in order to reveal izindaba ntaba zenzayo. Imagine with him, if it was you, Ususwe kamalako, we have worked saying, Ususwe kamalako, you are all over social media. And the two are, Lomuntu tlangane no chesu, chesu kuluma now. When Buzo fila ganjan, la bandu laba who are commenting, if there were, eh, eh, tatulu in zala bandu laba who are told, Guti, aba repent publicly, you know, aba chelwa, eh, secretly. Ubungege now feeling as uti, but somewhere, somehow, Nkulunkul is not really mindful of my individuality. Mina, you mina, wana, still wanna go back to this one. Ah, I'm afraid to. What Mandy is, what Pastor Mandy is doing here, he is saying, see it for yourself what it is. But yes. I can tell you this. That is, that is Pastor Mandy. He's saying, I can tell you for sure uh -huh. that it's not God. So, what, basically, <laughs> the implication is that if it's not God, then you know who's, who, it, who it might be or who it is. But if it's not God, there's no middle ground. What we know, the Bible teaches us one thing. There's God and the enemy. So if it's not God, mm. you know who's it, right? So I'll leave it there, right? It's, it's demonic forces. Who well, is speaking about demonic forces, Prophet yes. Pastor Mandy, I don't mm -hmm. uh, People complained about this thing, your good there's this tendency, you my boy. So go to and Zula. Sick bees, the public. Hey, it's a prophet. People are like, oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm so neat. So now I'm looking at this and I'm listening to you and I'm, I'm saying to myself, wait, what's the difference between Izangoma that delight in prophesying in public and some of them have even transformed it into social media mm. uh, 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 and I have a prophet who are also working on social media, yes. right? What's the difference between the two approach? Uh, hey, you know, in the Bezangom, it's it difficult. Because uh, in the last seven years, I Zangom. Notice, seven years, I Zangom. If you have a problem, uh, you go to a Zangom. There's a high chance that Zangom must stop Jela Ika Malumundu Oktagatai. And then once you are told the name of that person who's bewitching you, or Sangoma, because in most cases you find Guti, Labo Bandaba Tarat in Uktarat, you know. So in the end, Zarala Guti, entries when Yako already planted the seed of hatred, you know. So now you will have Abantabaning who are hating one another because they were told by Isangom, Mutu so and so. We are tired. So the, the, the Sangoma exposed. They delight in exposing people, you know. So now... Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Yes. If you don't get it, forget about it. If you don't get it, forget about it. Yeah. So, 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 so that, that is just a practical example. So that is why I'm saying, Guti, Aksiba Bantu party, the spirit behind the Zangoma that is delightful in exposing people so that they can plant the seed of hatred and all those things among the people. You see. I once read a book. Yes. I'll tell you the name of the book. I'll tell you one day. It says, when a Christian mm -hmm. uh, sees things the same way as a, as a non-believer, uh -huh. it says what has changed is the spirit that governs the both of them. The other ones still think that he's still a Christian or she's still a Christian. Mm. But in, in actual fact, you are led by the same spirit, the demonic forces. It's just yes. that to you, they, are, they have to keep you in your position and make you believe that you are still a Christian. Mm -hmm. So the Bible was saying, that, that, that book was saying, a Christian and a non-Christian cannot see things the same way. There must be a distinct difference between yes. a Christian and... But the, the key point there is that if that is happening, mm. 
it means you, you, you and that person you are led by the same spirit and it cannot be the spirit of God then. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, no, I don't want to be direct because uh, <laughs> I don't want to appear as if I'm fighting Ulokuzai. Oh, uh, enigma. Uh, 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 enigma. But what we are trying to do is to brief, bring everything into the light of the Bible. Because without the Bible, we are not safe as Christians. No, so our safety can be found in the Bible. And, uh, you know, what is interesting, Nguti, Usatan Yagwazo quote a scripture, but as misquote. Yeah, born. And I was Satan a quote scripture, Kulumenje, the truth as it is. So he will quote the scriptures to fulfill his agendas. That's what Satan does. So, we case comes alone. Ange, ange, she would think it in a woman, who holds a demon in. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say, Nguti, eh, as judge is milos kankulungul because what is at stake here it is the character of god what is being questioned here it is god himself in this world you know so we can't afford to do what to be on the other side by misrepresenting the true image of who god is i will ask you the last question uh there's a scripture i've forgotten the actual scripture please remind me if you can please that talks about the, the devil or the enemy transforming himself into the angel of light. Uh -huh. Do you still remember that verse or book chapter, book chapter and the verse? Do you still remember that? Yes, I'm, I've yes. been corrected. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 and 14. Mm. Talk to me about that because what I've been hearing mm. as you're talking, Something in my mind says, no, man, this man is talking along these lines as well. Yes, yes, yes. Talk to me about that. Sum up something around that. Yeah, let me try to summarize it. No, people, they, they think Satan also is just, a, you know, a, a, a cartoon or something, you know. They don't understand the good team. Uh, they are dealing with what here? There are descriptions that are given in the Bible of Satan when he was Lucifer in heaven. We have Ezekiel. Chapter 28 from verse 12, where God is giving you the description of how the man was created. The body of Lucifer was made by precious stones, including gold, diamond, and uh, he, he, what is this, uh, beryl stone and other stones, you know, that were used when Lucifer was created. You know, so when you talk of him, dragon. Of course, he can transform himself into whatever, you know. But um, the truth of the matter is that uh, if you listen to devil worshippers from the U.S. who have met Satan, they will tell you a different story. They will say, the man is very beautiful. When you meet devil worshippers from Africa, they will say, we met a dragon, you know. So you see somewhere, somehow, that <laughs> <laughs> Satan... <laughs> Is, is, is deceiving <laughs> these people, you know. So they, 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 they take him very light. Number two, we have Isaiah chapter 14, again from verse 12, where God talks about the fall of oh, yes. Lucifer. It says, how art thou, it says, how art thou fallen? I think it's 14, starting from 12, right? Yes. Verse 12. How art thou fallen from, from heaven? Oh, Lucifer, son of son the morning. Son of the morning, yes. Thou have, okay, continue, continue. And the Bible reveals there that actually... Uh, the purpose of Satan was to dethrone God from heaven. Oh, yes. Yes, and take the position above my of star, God. So above, that I'll, I'll, I'll exalt my, exactly. what, what, my mm -hmm. throne above. What, 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 continue, yes. Yes, so the man wanted to be God. So when he came into this world and Adam allowed him to deceive him, he took the kingdom that belonged to Adam. That's why Christ had to come and the Bible calls him the second Adam. Because Christ had to come and defeat Satan, where Satan defeated Adam. If it was not going to be fair, and Ungulungulu wants to be fair even to Lucifer himself, to Satan himself. So I understand with Amatimu and the fallen angels, is that these angels, Njongo Bazila, Emuslabini, Aziko Lemuslabini, Zerilexil, Azerilexil, and Yuazila Emuslabini, these fallen angels. They are busy, these fallen angels. Ngendele Ogutim, Abantu, they don't understand the deception 
lenge lusilizi eza lashwa no satane as now you read for example what paul says in first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 me to pauli umoyo shungo kakili kutenzu kwenzo kutini abani ngbaklu buwe kuluen benaka imfundiso as to wisa oza matimoni neza umoyo so suggesting uh, wait, wait 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 can you say that yes. in english again it says uh, for the spirit speaketh expressly that in the last days or in the latter days people shall depart from the faith giving heed to what to seducing spirits and what and demons so those are demonic spirits those are demonic spirits continue so in other words what the bible is saying that there are teachings ama demons was introduce with christianity so now how will we distinguish whether these teachings are from uh, god or from satan through the bible that's how we can distinguish the teachings so some of these teachings abantu abaning bazohamba now and the reason why they will go with these teachings according to paul it is because they will be taking heat of these teachings so bazobe benakele imfundiso zamadimoni rather than studying god's word and then amadimoni will deceive them hence that is why when you read the bible amadimoni will use abant within christianity to perform miracles so that they can deceive abant within christianity and who are they fighting for against i mean they are fighting against jesus christ you know so whatever they will be doing they will make sure that it will look similar to what christ is doing and how can how will you distinguish which this is the truth and this is error only through the bible that's how you can distinguish so abant manje they are in a position where amadimoni have managed ukuthi abasuse from where they can get impilo ephakathi which is the bible so now if focus abantu abaningi ikuma individuals umprophet so and so umfundisi so and so that's where the focus is the focus is not on the bible people are not willing to listen to what god says what they want to do is to tell god what to do hence they are praying every day but they are not taking time to listen to his word and unkulunkulu can speak through the bible oh, that was a rap yes that was a rap yo i am on the journey to find facts after enigma said what he said i took it upon myself that you know what i want to know mm. because people like pastor mandi reach out to me and say we want to respond to brother local to brother enigma especially the theology we don't they said we're not going to attack the man we just want to deal with his theology because his theology it puts god's character in a different light that it's not supposed to be that's not how god that's not the god of the bible ah hmm. uh, they like bongs you've got an equipment please my man and i was like you know what let me invite them but i also want to invite you to something else you really need to subscribe like the video comment in the comment section below doing all those things guys it's free of charge your last words this is your camera yes um these are my last words jesus is coming again and in tsuke siphila kuzona kuzona insuku eh la sizothikhona izinto zinormal things are no longer normal in this world and we can tell that the world is taking another turn so now njengabantu abakholwa nkhuluma nalo ababe ndizokukhona njengabantu abakholwayo oh sorry 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 yes. i made a mistake uh, let's, let's 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 start again and please raise up your voice all right um this is your camera please Begana. your last words please yes sir all right um amagama nje kugcina kulabo ababe ndizokukhona nkhuluma nawo ngumuntu okholwayo akunandabu ukuthi uyakiphi inkonzo athenda iphi inkonzo akunandabu eh nina enikholwayo yazeni ukuthi niphila kuziphi insuku siphile insuku ini zokugcina ngci eh lesikhathi lesi siphila kusona so you can't afford njengomkrestu ukuthi eh wena izinto ezishiwoyo abantu uvana uzithathe njengoba zinjalo without ukuthi uzi reference from the word of god ngoba your only safety now is the bible you know ama demon they are all over the world 
But the only way we can deal with our teachings that demons have brought into Christianity is through the Bible. And let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit, when you prayerfully study the Bible, will reveal all the truth to you. Um, thank you very much. Uh, this is another episode, but I can promise you that another, look, more episodes are coming. Should you wish, do let me know. I just want to know exactly. Uh, if you guys are willing, we will listen to that. And what I'm going to do in the near future, uh, I'm going to create an episode where, if, for instance, you wish to talk to Brother Mandy, I'll invite Mandy. He agree that he will come. I'll also invite Sabel too. So that you can you have a one on one with them, mm. they are they, they I've, I've spoken to them, they are free. So do not think that I am just gonna allow the other side only. Should Enigma himself feel that he wanna be part of this, he wanna answer certain things, he feels that he wants to address certain things, he will be free at twenty four hours access, right? Let's close the episode here. I love you guys. I hope we learn one or two things that are important. Thank you very much.